so happy to be here starting a new series of readings with you. Um, this is a general reading for the collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, not really date or time specific. We are still in Mercury retrograde, however, so that that can kind of find its way into reading wherever there may be misunderstandings or communication issues or absence of communication, for example. Um, but as a general reading, it may not resonate for everyone. So just take what speaks to you. Leave the rest. If it's not your reading this time, maybe it will be the next time. Or go into the playlist and see if any titles jump out at you. See if there's anything you missed. Um, because we're all in different timelines. So something I may have read about six months ago could be unfolding for you right now and vice versa. So <clears throat> if you're here as a cross watcher, that's fine. Sometimes you have to flip the energies around. That's okay too. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope if you enjoy the reading, you'll consider joining us here by subscribing. And for those of you returning, so much love and appreciation. I'm excited for a new, a new series of readings. Look where we're starting here. The full present energy, preparing to take a leap of faith, perhaps you may be assessing some risk here, but feeling like it's worth the risk to just kind of go for it. What's the challenge? Mm-hmm. The death card. Um, this is about leaping in a new direction and leaving something behind. This feels really related to the Scorpio full moon reading, uh, full moon we just had um, with a total lunar eclipse. And I feel like someone here, <laughs> you're coming through that experience prepared to leave behind what no longer serves you. This is the card of death, change, growth, transformation. Um, but it does present a challenge because it's like you're risking, you're risking something when you're letting go of something. Does that make sense? You have to kind of let go of the edge of the cliff here. Um, if you're going to take a leap and it can be scary. It can be very unsettling. You have two major arcana here though. So this is a very powerful, um, energy coming through for you, meaning it could be life changing. Third major arcana, the hierophant underneath. So this is in your unconscious awareness. It could be around a topic, the topic of commitment, conventional committed relationship. But the hierophant is um, the higher self within us. It's, you know, it's kind of who we are at our core, knowing ourselves, being true to ourselves more than anything. This is a card of awakening and ascension as well. So that's in consideration in your psyche or somewhere in your unconscious energy. In the past, yes, this could be very recent for some of you, two of wands, choosing the path forward, but it's going to require a risk and leaving something behind that um, could be a pattern. These, this can even be, um, you know, your own patterns and habits and behaviors and things that have kept you from taking risks that you really need to take. So I feel like you already have been, you know, in consideration of that path forward. What's crowning you here? Two of Cups. Yeah, this is really beautiful, Aries. Ooh, um, it was a beautiful morning musing for the channel members as well. Um, you know, with uh, there's challenges to everything, even the good things, you know? And sometimes when something this beautiful it, is available to us, we, we kind of get scurred and we start to doubt ourselves or question ourselves um, or struggle with the risk involved. Queen of Cups. Um, going forward, Queen of Cups energy suggests to me that no matter how you move through all this, you will be coming from an open heart. I do feel this is your energy, those watching, whether you're here as the Aries or a cross watcher. I feel it's speaking to your emotional availability um, and what it is that you're trying to bring towards you in this two of wands energy where you've assessed you've looked out on the horizon and there's a world of possibilities in the palm of your hands right what do you choose what do you want and you're telling me in this reading that what you want is the love what you want is the soul bond that you're open to it look at how open and willing and receptive she is love that i say she because it's a queen but it doesn't it's not a gender-based thing so the message from spirit though seven of wands you may have to kind of fight for it a little bit. In the hidden energies, Knight of Swords, 
Somebody may be preparing to kind of come back quick, fast, and in a hurry. Could be a, a need to clear the air. Sometimes I see that with the Knight of Swords. The other problem with the Knight of Swords, though, it's not really a problem. It's just, you know, because the Knight of Swords is the fastest move, one of the fastest moving knights other than the Knight of Wands. Um, but this is like the mind gets out ahead of the situation. And, you know, sometimes you can get over your skis in that situation. That's going on behind the scenes, po possibly with your person. Who, in your hopes and or fears, seven of pentacles, like how long is this going to take, I hear you saying, especially if you're here as the with the Aries energy. And the potential outcome, nine of pentacles. Okay, so it's independence, autonomy, um, you know, sort of moving ahead independently, even as you're trying to call in this partnership. So we'll look at that to the Nine of Pentacles, some Virgo energy there. And what's on the bottom? I love it. Six of Cups, um, past life soulmate, the warmth and nostalgia, the comfort of the connection on an emotional level. I am going to um, read the Fool and the Death card separately. I don't always. <clears throat> Yes, there's the Nine of Pentacles. So whoever you are watching, you are unattached at the moment other than this connection. Right, okay. So I have a feeling you're not together in 3D, that you're not together in the physical sense, if that makes sense. You may have been, um, but I don't feel I'm speaking to those of you. I think I'm speaking to someone who is experiencing this connection at 5D. Uh, we, it, we have strong twin flame energies here between the four of wands and the six of cups. And I feel like there's this opportunity to kind of move forward and to find the peace of mind, to find the peace of mind. You stand in your power here, though. Um, the problem, I keep saying the problem with, not a problem, but the issue for the nine of pentacles is she's kind of perennially single. She uh, kind of has no trouble um, manifesting all her creature comforts and desires and the nicer sides of life with the exception of a love that stays. And that's what I think, you know, you've got to kind of risk it all. You've got to kind of go out on a limb to find your peace of mind in this situation. Um, but let's take a look at the death card and see what the message is for you there. Ten of Pentacles, Emperor, Five of Wands. So this feels to me like a letting go. Um, it is a letting go. I'm not feeling transformation as much. I'm feeling growth and realizing that, you know, all the energy around the future with the Divine Masculine, right, looking in the future has brought just too much conflict up for you either you're conflicted about it they're conflicted about it or it's been a source of conflict underneath behind the scenes it's from the bottom of the deck so playing out behind the scenes there may be energy around the future that is a source of conflict in this connection and the fool has to take the risk to let go of that future energy of of looking too far forward is sort of how it's coming through be here now is what I hear coming through. Um, be here now, be okay on your own, um, but be willing to take a risk that in the letting go, something better will find its way to you, right? There's a saying, um, and I'm gonna butcher it, <laughs> old lady in the house, you know, if, if you love something, set it free. If it comes back to you, it's yours. If it doesn't, it never was. That's what I think I see here in the letting go of the vision of the future in this connection. It may find its way right, you know, coming right back to you. And if it doesn't, so be it. You still got you. I know that one just got me. I don't usually cry during an Aries reading, so I'm kind of thrown. Oh. Hierophant, Hanged Man, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Okay. Um, yeah. 
if you examine and i feel you are but not in a conscious way in your unconscious processing you're examining um from like the thirty thousand foot view with this hierophant why are things delayed why why am i in this no man's land what you know there was this painful ending is something that ended leaving you kind of feeling really devalued here the hierophant is your inner sense of worth and value that's a card of taurus taurus is all about you know our own value our sense of value and self-worth um yeah it's a money house but you know taurus is ruled by venus so it's love of self first and foremost and i kind of feel like something got lost in trans translation in a way that the pain was experienced in terms of your sense of value feeling devalued and maybe you're re-examining that now maybe you're ha taking that time with the hanged man to kind of find some enlightenment within about your own abandonment issues like where does that come from why does this situation that didn't work out well have me feeling less than or unworthy because you're certainly worthy or the hierophant wouldn't be here um really interesting that that comes through it's kind of um a, a sign of a lot of growth and maturity to be asking yourself those questions even if not in a conscious way because you're processing we're all like we've got a little cpu running in the background all the time we've all got that computer brain that's just running things in the background and then we've got the forward you know this is the screen <laughs> we're plugging in data all the time but then stuff processes so i kind of feel like that's that's been a big help that's going to be a big help to you going forward two of wands in the past tower oh i see this a little bit more clearly now okay um wow okay so this five of pentacles now has me feeling like something happened we have let me let me just go through it i'm sorry i'm getting a little bit i'm back and just zigzagging this is past energy you made a choice and it backfired in a big way all right tough break tough luck big fall and all you've been waiting for is that reconciliation the homecoming the opportunity to make peace to reconcile whatever this tower energy was about but i feel like you've been in limbo about that that's why the hanged man is here and and now you've got fears fears around your worth and value in you know like insecurities that rise up because touch the iron once you get burned right and i kind of feel like you're questioning karma and fate now after that tower moment you made a choice and it didn't work out and so that's why this fool is um here and it's presenting such a challenge because you're gonna have to let go that death and rebirth card of um on top as the challenge for the fool is telling you you're gonna have to let go of the dream of the future you're gonna have to live in the moment now and trust your ability to make the best choice for yourself in the moment and that requires a stronger sense of your personal worth and value this is some heady stuff here aries yes two of cups with the empress definitely four of cups and there's the knight of wands a little sag energy showing up um i feel like there's some sadness here i mean in your conscious awareness what's crowning you is the beauty of this soul bond and soul connection and here's all the unconditional love of the divine feminine the empress the nurturing the soft port in a storm a soft place to land and but yet you're kind of still waiting for this return here's a return there's a return everywhere a return return but it hasn't shown up and i think you're trying to sort out why i think you're not happy about it of course uh makes sense that's normal 
But I feel like with that four of cups, you're, the message I'm hearing is, I feel like this person missed an opportunity. I feel like this person missed an opportunity. And I'd welcome their return to bridge the emotional distance between us. So that to me is a, a big step of personal growth where now you're, you're saying I'm worth, I am of value, I am worthy of, and this person is the one that made the bad choice. And, you know, let's be kind in the comments, right? You don't need to slam anybody. That's not what we do here on this channel. Um, but I feel like you're, you're coming through it more peaceful, even if you're on your own at the moment, because you're sort of making, you're connecting the dots about the nature of twin flame, if this is in fact a twin flame scenario, which it looks like that's who I'm speaking to in this reading. And you're still coming through with this open heart, compassionate, first towards yourself. Um, and yeah, maybe having to let it, let go of some dreams of a future with this person, um, but somehow it reinforces your sense, uh, your personal sense of worth and value. Queen of Cups. <laughs> Seven of Cups. Three of Cups. So still some confusion. Um, yeah. I'm just feeling like there may be some confusion. You're open to a coming back together, a cause for celebration, the three of cups with the three of pentacles underneath, working on things together. This was the lead out card in the channel membership um, morning musing this morning is that three of pentacles is about, you know, taking what's good and building upon it. And that that being just a cause for celebration in and of itself, but the seven of cups is saying, yeah, there are quite a few different ways to get there. Um, a lot of options possibly, and a lot to really get centered about in your heart. Um, but it's also a potentially very emotionally confusion, confusing and overwhelming going forward because it's not something that's within your control, right? We all have free will. So you might be preparing for someone to return, but not knowing how or when or if that will ever take place. And so therefore you have to relinquish some control and decide if you're willing to take that risk. Seven of Wands, message from spirit. Lovers, Six of Cups. Okay, so spirit's giving you a little bit um, of a pep talk here. Yeah, people get hurt. We all have heartache. We all have broken hearts. But you have a choice to make here. Are you going to fight for this connection? There's your six of cups again. I know. Are you willing to fight for it? Are you willing to fight for it? Mm. Knight of Swords and the Hidden Energies. Yes, this person, whoa. <laughs> Plot twist. Uh, so you're super mirrored with each other, except they're kind of catching up because here's the fool for them underneath. This person's preparing to take the risk too. And I saw it this morning, and that's why I have this big shit eating grin on my face because I saw it this morning. They're preparing to take that leap, to take the leap, to come towards you, to clear the air. It's all communication all day long speak their truth to make sure that they're understood that there are no misunderstandings that's what's brewing behind the scenes wow yeah i know that's them seven of pentacles in your hopes and or fears yeah how long do i have to wait for this <laughs> amazement to happen um, two of cups again comes out. Wow. So in your hopes and or fears, I do feel the fear is that this is, it has taken too long and you, it may just be too late for some of you, you know, that are more obsessed with the timing of things. 
<clears throat> judgment is coming in here to kind of say things are out of balance and the waiting game doesn't work for me. It throws me out of whack. Um, so yeah, you may need to spend a little time taking care of yourself, putting yourself first. Um, Queen of Pentacles with the Two of Cups underneath. So it is about the connection, but the Queen of Pentacles is um, sort of takes care of business. You know, feminine archetype of a life partner, absolutely. So in the readiness for partnership, but take takes care of themselves, takes care of things at home, takes care of things on the job, takes care of their money, takes, right? It's just very nurturing, but to self first. And I feel like the waiting game is the problem. And that's why you, you're in your hopes and or fears. Um, I feel it's coming through as hopeful that... Uh, there may be some balance between you yet to come, but fearful that it has taken so long already. Um, you know, I want to just say to you, there's no expiration date on Twin Flame, if it's for real. No expiration date on love, by the way. Not energetically. That's a choice. You choose to cut it. You choose to walk away. That's it. But if your heart's open, there's no expiration date on that. And I feel like some people feel, you know, oh, well, it's been six months. Oh, well, it's been a year. Look, it's been 10 years in my storyline. So, uh, and I don't feel the expiration of it. I, f I feel the connection more than ever, if that's possible. And I don't feel it's, you know, um, I don't feel it's delusional and I don't feel it's unrealistic. It's not stopping me. If I want to go out, I go out. If I want to see someone, I see someone. It's, it's, that's not the issue. It's the connection doesn't have an expiration date for me. And unless or until I feel that other person's energy disappear and go away, um, it's still anyone's game. So I want to just kind of share that with you. For those of you that feel very pressured by time, the passage of time. Nine of Pentacles. the sun, seven of pentacles again. Yeah, you're going to be rewarded here for it. The, it it'll be worth the wait, guys. What did I just get done saying? Nine of pentacles, the sun, seven of pentacles. Yeah, your happiness will take time. The message will come in. It'll come from the heart. It'll be sincere. But it's anyone's guess when. It will unfold organically over time and not one minute before it's ready to be kind of pulled right out of the garden. The day you plant the seeds is not the day the garden grows. And, and sitting here, you know, this guy is tending to it. You know, you till the soil, you, you feed it, plant food, whatever you do to kind of nurture it and give it time to, to grow deep roots. And then it finally pops up through the ground and you're like, oh, look at that. Where did that come from? So I know we're growing a, a connection here, but I feel like you've got to, you know, um, keep things flowing in the right order, timing wise, take care of you first, um, live your damn life, live it well. Uh, okay, so there is a link to the extended below. And before I tell you all the energies that showed up here astrologically, that reading will be from the other person's point of view, how they see the situation at present, um, how they see or think or feel about you um, and their intentions going forward. And um, I'll close out with some Oracle. Okay, so here's who showed up. The Fool is Aquarius. The Death card is Scorpio. We have the Nine of Pentacles twice. That is Virgo energy. The Hierophant is Taurus. Hanged Man is Pisces. The tower is Aries. The wheel of fortune is actually a card of Jupiter, Sagittarian energy. We have the empress is the um, Libra. And it's the card of Venus. It's Libra and Taurus. Uh, Knight of wands is Sagittarian energy. Um, we've got the emperor is Aries. Queen of cups can be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, the lovers is Gemini. The um, fool is out that second time. That's Aquarius. Justice is Libra. Queen of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The sun is Leo. I know. Really nice reading, guys. 
The link to the extended is below. I'll see you there. Otherwise, stay well, and I'll see you in a future reading. Bye for now.